Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a super important video, especially for those of you who are on any sort of transplant waiting list, for those who are on a deceased donor waiting list, for those who are on the paired exchange donor list, and for those of you who actually have a live donor and will actually schedule your transplant this is for all of the above. And for those of you who are on a deceased donor waiting list, this video may be the most important because you can get that call at any time. Believe me, I know, I got the call about three times. If they think that you might be one of those candidates that could get a transplant, and sometimes it comes down to like three people. So if there's two people ahead of you who are to receive two kidneys from a deceased donor, if one of those doesn't go through and you're the next one up, they make sure to call you and they might even do that to like even the fourth person that it may be eligible for. I don't know. I've only been called when I was the third person. So it's like, hey, if these two don't work out, then we need you to get here in less than three hours. So today we're going to talk about prepping and what to prep for your kidney transplant hospital visit. <laughs> sure you don't forget to click. This will give you a general idea of like what I had in my transplant bag because I was both on a deceased donor list and the paired exchange list where you still have to wait a certain amount of time where things actually match up. I had this bag prepped almost six months ahead of time. I had everything in it that I needed. It was zipped and it was placed in my closet just in case. I'm not sure if things like toothpaste or deodorant are things that after a certain amount of time in which it sits you might want to replace so if you are on a waiting list for a couple of years and you had this bag packed at the top of your weight maybe you go in and filter some of these things out that is some research that you probably should do but i think i had my bag packed for about six months so everything was totally fine in there. I did not touch what was in that bag until it was time for transplant day. Now, I did have two transplants, as a lot of you know. So the first one gave me a lot of insight to the second one, but I will say when you have a mother like mine who preps and overly preps and preps again, I was pretty much equipped with everything that I needed on my first transplant, but we made a couple of tweaks and on my second transplant, it was the smoothest hospital visit you could ever imagine. And it just depends on your recovery path, but you can be in the hospital after your surgery for probably up to a week, maybe more just depending on what's happening. So obviously you have people or if you have visitors coming in, if there's any items that you may need, you can always have them go get it and bring it into the hospital. I will say that a lot of these items on my list, they do provide at the hospital. You don't have to have this bag. Everything that you need for surgery, uh, for recovery while in the hospital, the hospital does have available to you. But for me to be extremely comfortable, I want the things that I want. Like I don't want the hospital toothpaste, I want my Sensodyne toothpaste. So these are things that I packed for myself for my transplant. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea and obviously after watching this, curate your own list and see what makes you comfortable and what ideas that you have that okay I can pack these things that will make my hospital visit a little bit more comfortable for me. Obviously, don't go in there with two suitcases. Just, just a few items that will give you a little taste of home and normalcy while recovering from your surgery. Before we get into the video, I wanna make sure that I do my comment of the week. My comment of the week comes from, and I hope I don't mess this up, but John, Hi, Xeria8325. I'm sorry I messed that up. Hi, Dawn. I stumbled upon your videos when searching for PD catheter hiding solutions. I have recently been diagnosed with KD in January 2023. Although my journey is just beginning, I cannot express enough appreciation for your videos. They provide a human connection, knowledge, and experience no brochure or book can match. Believe me, I've read a bunch. I am a father of three kids and I have a lot to live for. Your words, experience, and desire to help us newbies gives me the strength to push forward. Keep up the great work and may you continue to inspire more on your journey. From a small town in Canada, I send my thanks. I love this. He just got diagnosed 
literally two months ago and he's already found the motivation to push forward and his kids give him I, I can only imagine I don't have children but his kids give him the motivation to move forward I understand how hard it is to receive this life-changing information how your thoughts can kind of go to a very negative place and he has the blessing of his children that like make him understand like I have a lot to live for and we all do we're here we haven't left this earth yet so there is purpose left to be pursued and purpose left to live in so John I love that please keep your motivation and thank you for even saying that my videos in some way attribute to that journey I I love that and I love this comment so this is my comment of the week good luck to you John in your journey please keep me updated all right guys so without further ado let's get into the video so all these things will also be listed below for you guys so we got toothbrush and toothpaste my favorite body wash it smells so good the lotion is super important because we are dehydrated from dialysis shampoo conditioner deodorant razor my hair tools when you're laid in the bed all day these things come in super handy your hair gets super messy so these are all of my products that i use q-tips as mentioned before hospital has all these things but i like to have them on hand my face wash toner moisturizer jojoba oil and my facial brush please do not forget chapstick thank me later definitely take a book with you you may get to it you may not but this is for idle time or more importantly have your journal with you this you'll carry with you into post transplant so these next few items made the world of difference i actually bring my own gown for a couple days post transplant i start to want to be comfortable it's loose it's super soft and cotton i also bring my own house coat those two items make me feel at home and this is just a reminder for the ladies make sure you do buy full coverage underwear for when you're able to wear them i also bring my own house shoes but this is my number one item on the list as you can see it is a cross and it's rounded on the edges so it can fit comfortably in your hand i forget who gifted this to me but somebody gifted this to me before my first transplant and it has come in handy as such a spiritual person whenever i was going through something whenever i was in a lot of pain whenever i was going through a small procedure where i was awake i held on to this tight and i held it close to me and reminded myself that i was going to be okay and i still use it to this day i use it during my second transplant and i use it whenever i'm going through something on it is exodus chapter 15 verse 26 that speaks about the lord being your healer so it just reminded me especially going into a transplant that i was going to be okay it's the last thing i packed and i'm headed out so that is the end of my items i know it seems like a lot of stuff but everything literally fit into that duffel that i had on my bed like that is my exact bag that I've taken to my transplants. So everything fit in there that I needed. And like I said, my parents and family were back and forth to the hospital. So if there was something that I missed or something else that I wanted or I needed them to bring to the hospital, they did. But generally that stuff really helped me and made me feel clean and made me feel semi comfortable. I mean, as comfortable as you can laying in a hospital bed in their gown or my gown if it was me. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and obviously comment, which is my favorite. So I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Keep fighting.